Hey, welcome to Orange Track TV. Sure is hot out there. Everybody loves when the ice cream man comes around. I know I sure do. So grab yourself some ice cream. Watch this video. It's going to be a lot of fun. We'll see you later. Hey, next, who wants some ice cold ice cream? It's hot out there. Get some ice cream. Let's go. Well, I went back to the Walmart where the Hot Wheels were switched around in the packages and the five packs and had a few comments that like, uh, are you sure that's not uh, Hot Wheels didn't make that mistake? Um, is it an error? Yeah, I'm 99.9% I'm .9 sure it is not Hot Wheels mistake. Uh, if you look at the two pictures that I froze on the video, uh, you got a Fast and Furious on the left, you got a Speed Blur on the right. The guts of a Speed Blur are in the Fast and Furious package. Uh, there's no way Hot Wheels can make that mistake. Uh, let's back up a little. If you not had seen the original video, um, I'm leaving a link below and also an icon at the end of this video so you can actually watch the first video. That video that you need to watch first, if you haven't seen it, it's called Thieves or Scalpers. This video will make you mad. Like I said, there's a be a link below. Go ahead and watch that. And then uh, this is a update, a follow up on that video. And plus, you can see Walmart just discounted the packages. I'm not sure if the people knew the wrong cars were in there, so they might have not known what they were getting. They just got something that's on sale. Uh, and that's probably all Walmart did uh, in my opinion so let's go ahead and uh, here in a couple minutes um, I made a few phone calls tried to get hold of customer service looking for an e email address so here we go thank you for calling Mattel Consumer Services for information in English, please press 1. Para información en español, por favor, presione el número 2. For information on... Thank you for calling Mattel Consumer Services. We are currently closed. To speak to a team member, please call us back during our normal business hours, Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Or you can visit us at service.mattel.com, where you will find instruction sheets, replacement parts, self-help tools, and options to send email inquiries. Tomorrow. For calling Mattel Consumer Services. Your call will be recorded for quality control, training, legal, and other business purposes. If you do not consent to such recording, you may disconnect this call at any time. For information in English, please press 1. Para información en español, por favor, presione el número 2. For information en français, please listen carefully before making a selection, as our menu options have changed. Okay. For Mattel toy products, including Mega Blocks, please press 1. For Hot Wheels ID, please press 2. For Kamigami, or any product that requires an app or that is Bluetooth enabled, please press 3. To repeat this menu, please press 4. For Mattel toy products, including Mega Blocks, Please press 1. For Hot Wheels ID, please press 2. Calls may be handled in a country other than your country of residence. Please review the Mattel Privacy Statement, available at our website, for details on how we handle personal information. If your information relates to a product manufactured by one of our licensees, we will share it with our licensee. To help us improve our products and services, we will send you a product and quality of service survey via email. If you do not wish to participate, please advise the customer service agent. Your estimated wait time is about 25 minutes. Uh. The following day. Thank you for calling Mattel Consumer Services. Your call will be recorded for quality control, training, legal, and other business purposes. If you do not consent to such recording, you may disconnect this call at any time. For information in English, please press 1. Para información en español, por favor, presione el número 2. 
pour information en français. Please listen carefully before making a selection, as our menu options have changed. For Mattel toy products, including Mega Bloks, please press 1. For Hot Wheels ID, please press 2. For Kamigami, or any product that requires an app or that is Bluetooth enabled, calls may be handled in a country other than your country of residence. Please review the Mattel privacy statement, available at our website, for details on how we handle personal information. If your information relates to a product manufactured by one of our licensees, we will share it with our licensee. To help us improve our products and services, we will send you a product and quality of service survey via email. If you do not wish to participate, please advise the customer service agent. Your estimated wait time is about five minutes. Two hundred ninety-eight frozen patties later. Much, much, much later. Three thousand years later. You're experiencing unusually high call volume. Please remain on the line for the next team member. For immediate assistance, please visit our support page at service. Dot Mattel dot com. Several song filled hours later. Hi, this is Lori in Buffalo, New York. How can I help you? Yes. I'm sorry, I have a question. I'm looking, yeah. I'm looking for an email address I can send a letter to. All the all I can find on the Mattel's website is like a form on the on the website itself, but I'm actually looking for a, a real email address. To email what? Um, well, I've been having some issues about Hot Wheels. And uh, I wanted to let somebody aware of what's going on. So that then that is actually what you fill out, and that's how we receive our emails. There is no actual email address. You fill out that form, and then it comes to our email inbox. Okay. Because um, it's like a two-page email. We'll be able to handle that much. Um, I'm not sure, <laughs> but that's the only one I have can give you access to. Okay. Well, I'll give it a try because of what I've what I found. I'm sure Mattel slash Hot Wheels is aware of it. People taking cars out of packages and putting in different cars and returning them. You know, okay. I mean, they've been doing it quite a bit, and I know it's uh probably the store's issue more than Mattel's, that's for sure. Because we can't have, you know, we don't have any control of what happens once it hits the retailer. Exactly. I definitely understand that. <laughs> but yeah. I just wanted to, um, I'm sure Mattel's aware of this situation, and I was trying to offer them some ideas, like tamper-proof stickers or something they might be able to put on it. Or, all right. Yeah. So, yeah, definitely um, fill that out. I'm not sure. I'm sorry. I don't know how. We do get some long emails, <laughs> so okay. I, it might. I don't know if it has a character count or not, to be honest. I'm sorry. Well, I'll give it a shot. Great. You have a good day. All right. Appreciate it. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Well, my five-minute wait actually turned out to be a 25-minute wait before she answered. A very nice lady. I appreciate the information she did give me. But I also was expecting that answer that Mattel can't be responsible after it leaves, you know, the factory, what happens at the retailer. Uh, it's more of a Walmart thing. They definitely need to change their return policy. I'm sure Walmart is losing thousands and thousands, if not millions of dollars. I don't know how they can uh, go on like this, but they're so huge. They, they're doing it. 
Um, I myself have been a victim of uh, windshield wiper blades. I bought a pair of windshield wiper blades, got home, took them out of the package, and bam, they were used. They were all dirty and nasty. Uh, they were used. I uh, also got a few comments saying how they bought uh, games and somebody put in a blank DVD and printed out a sticker and stuck it on top. Um, they almost didn't believe him. Uh, a few more comments about like GI Joes and they're putting in just other other toys that don't even belong in there. Uh, Thomas the Tank, I believe that's the name of that train. Um, I even got comments about Thomas the Tank where they're taking uh, just regular cars and taking out a nice Thomas. Uh, they're doing it quite often. Even um, I talked to a Walmart manager. They said they're doing it to oil filters, taking off a top of the brand oil filters and put it in a cheap box. Uh, it's uh, frequently happened. I'm getting comments nationwide, so this is actually a huge problem, more than I thought. Uh, don't forget, if you want to see the very original video, there's going to be a link at the bottom in the description. So go ahead and check out that. I'm also going to try to get hold of Walmart, uh, see how far I get with them, um, just to see what they have to say about this, if anything, or if I don't even get to talk to anybody. But once again, thank you for watching Orange Track TV. Keep a lookout for the Walmart update. Got plenty more videos coming out. And once again, thanks for watching Orange Track TV. We'll see you later.